more fishies than Adonis's. One was at the pet store and the other one was brought in. So I got a discount on the one that was given to them. Got a little neurite snail. Um, can't really see it. It's got a yellow stripes on it. These two are so funny. I know they're territorial, but I got a whole bucket. Their heart's freezing. Had to separate them a couple of times. Ah, they're they're cute. I mean, I love watching them. Yeah. And they had two more autos that they didn't find yesterday. They had, o they had ordered six for me. Um, I told them that that's what I was going to want when the 75 was ready. They were only able to find four of them yesterday. And I went back in. They had found the other two. They're getting ready to go in. This is the second drip. I drip until it doubles and then take half of it out and then drip till it doubles again. I just to make sure they're, they're not picky or anything and the water's, I mean, perfect. Put some shrimp in. That was probably two weeks ago. A couple of those died off, but shrimp are picky, and that's why I put them in there cheap, but they're picky. Three of them have been living for about a week, and uh, so I tested it out with some autos, and uh, they were fine. I checked the water perimeters this morning, nothing spiked, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add some more in um, it's a little bit of a mixture of uh, high tech and the Wallstead method in my tank and so I've got highlighting but it's dirted um, homemade CO2 cap with rock and sand but it balanced itself really quickly. I'm loving it. I'm gonna put these guys in and I'll make another video um, after the light comes on. We'll see if we can't find them all settled in. Got Seem to be me making themselves right at home. Another one was over there by the volcano. I think that was him back there. But finally starting to clear up some on me. Yeah, the volcano is only temporary. Um, my driftwood's still soaking. I'm thinking nature's going to decide which ones I put in there. Some of them are still sitting at the bottom and some of them are floating. And so I might get impatient. Just put the ones that will stay on the bottom in there. I'll keep soaking the others. They come up, they come up. Or I guess stay down. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm loving me some autos. They are uh, cleaning this stuff right up. I mean, you can see maybe here it's got denims on it. But, uh, they're getting it cleaned up slowly. All those right there 
I've taken out of the other 20 gallon because they're just way overcrowded. I get my other 20 gallon up and going and so I'll have a place to put that stuff. There's one of them. There's two of them. Three of them. Got a special coming to y'all on uh What are these two doing? Got 75 gallons and they still found each other. Messing. That's fine, they're beautiful though. See if I can get a good shot of them for you. There you go. I like it when I get the driftwood in. I'm gonna put some uh, PVC in there too. They'll, they'll find a pecking order or chase each other around once they get settled in. Oh, another auto. But uh, I was saying is I got a special coming to y'all on these plants. trying to make sure I can pronounce them all and uh, give y'all a good video some of them like this have a little bit harder time finding out what it is uh, I got sent a goodie bag and uh, so I don't know everything that I have in here most of it was special order but uh, some of it was a goodie bag but, uh, all right I hope y'all enjoy it's pretty long but uh, I don't know these guys are amazing I'm not sure how big they get I think five or six inches um, I've got another stenosis in the 20 gallon I gotta make sure that they're compatible otherwise he'll go in the other 20 gallon when he gets set up maybe I can find out if this is a male and female I hadn't found anything on breeding them but uh maybe I could get lucky alright y'all guys enjoy <laughs>